Go away, yo. Go oh my god, this fight is so stupid because he can't dodge. Yeah, come on. We're running them over. Okay, we are back. After that whole area trying to get through, we made it here. Now we gotta go and find this vehicle. Of course, the darkness is still trying to stop us. As you know, and I'm pretty sure we have to fight because look at this area. I got two flares. Uh, two flares per se. We'll pick up some more flares. We got, we got about five. We got about five. So hopefully this will help. Hopefully this will help. No flashbangs though. No flashbangs. I guess that was like a temporary thing. But, and I see another box. A couple of boxes actually. Oh my god! This is a fight! This is a freaking fight! Get out the way, Alan! You standing there! Get out the freaking way! Oh my god! I can't see the bitch! Drop flares! Drop some more flares! I probably done wasted it all! This fight is so stupid because he can't dodge. I'm just trying to get through this dumbass part. For real. Freaking God, yo, this bitch. Hurry up, get some more. Oh my God, this bitch. Ridiculous. Dumbass part. <laughs> Shoot. Alan, I'm all sick of you. You need some dang old stamina. How are you gonna open up this door so you can grab some more freaking batteries and flare guns? What's over here? I ain't even had time to even go. Well, I couldn't go over there anyway. All right, let's go. Shoot. We got 14 batteries, five uh, flare sticks, zero flare guns. Now, which area I need to, uh, what is that, a thermos over there? I think it's a thermos. It is. Y'all want me to drive again? I thought that was like a chest or something. Okay. Looks like they want me to drive again. Y'all already know I'm terrible at driving. I had 
had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. The coal mine wasn't far now. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. All right, so we go into little the Little by pool. little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. Now, how does the doctor fit into all of this? Is my question. And how far can I go with this truck? Well, at least uh, the truck don't have like life where I can just do damage to it and it'll still drive, right? Checkpoint reach, okay? You made it here. Is it running out of gas? I'm not sure. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G Man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now, because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now... On a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Uh, ow. I kind of like the truck. Get out. Get out. Get out. We driving the truck. It makes me feel like I'm a part of the part of the town. Get in the truck. Don't you go down his road. Oh, home, home on a range with the deer and the antelope's play. There's this movie called, um, uh, not Land Before Time. Uh, I'm thinking about it. I have it in my head. It's dealing with the eagle. It's dealing with this ego. Uh, Down Under. Yes. Rescue Down Under is the name of the movie. That is my favorite movie. Well, one of my favorite movies from Disney. But, uh, that song was playing on, on that particular movie. But it's actually a really good movie, though. For real. Like, that movie is actually really good. Ain't nothing up here. Oh, I gotta use... Oh, it don't have no uh, thing. Well, let's listen to the radio right Welcome quick. Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or heck, childish, even? Hey, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but 
What you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for someone, because she was the one, she was. And she, I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work, I don't know, but, well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life, I, I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart pattern. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. Oh. Well, I mean, that's that's the tricky part. Well, I wouldn't say tricky part, but that's the part that people don't really listen to their heart, rather. Because that person that makes them feel whole, you know. Just go ahead and be with that person. Life is short. You don't want no regrets, that's for sure. You definitely don't want no regrets. Don't mind me while I'm uh, riding around here. I thought I saw... Like, I don't know what's down here. I thought I saw like an opening or something. That's why. Heck, if I did, would have went down here. I would have been going off the cliff. All right, let's go back in the truck. Maybe we'll come over, come over, come to it on the other side. Oh, here is an opening. Isn't that an opening in the barn? That's a barn, right? Or is it a? Looks like a work site. Alan. I need you to work out, buddy. I need you to work out. I need you to work out. Work out for me. Work out for me. Now, what what am I supposed to find? Oh. I don't know what happened there. I was trying to figure out. Go up the stairs. See, he be doing goofy stuff. That's the thing. Alan, go up the stairs. Like, he's so goofy. He keeps stopping. Like, what's up here? Oh, a manuscript. Perfect. What did it, what does it tell us? Just trying to make sure, uh... I haven't found all of them anyway, For but... Not, spying on the writer and the fairy had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special, but Maude hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look at the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Maude had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. Who the heck? Maude trying to fight me over my daggone wife? Maude... I guess his boss? Who is his boss? The guy that works at the radio station? It sound like it. It might be the guy that works at the radio station. Whoever Mott is. Like Allison though. Alright, we we are Oh, okay, so this is the coal mine. Welcome. Park your trucks right here, okay folks? I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Well, how early are we? 10 a.m.? While there were some earlier residents in the area, the true genesis of the town of Bright Falls came with the founding of the Bright Falls Mining Company and the opening of the Bright Falls Coal Mine in 1878. Although the work was hard and dangerous, many immigrants, Germans, Poles, Italians, Finns, and Swedes, among others, worked the mines. 
Dang, all these people. This is like they tool and stuff. While lucrative at first, the mining steadily declined in the 20th century. The seams were rich but hard to get at, and the volcanic activity in the area made the mine shaft particularly dangerous. So it's like a big ass museum. Bright Falls Coal Mine Museum. How did I was able to get it? Make it look like it's a museum. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Right, because why is he hunting me? In 1970, a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake, while relatively minor, caused most of the deep mining tunnels to collapse or flood. 32 miners lost their lives in the calamity, and all mining around Bright Falls came to a final stop. Now, many of the remaining buildings are protected as historical landmarks. Right, that's the part I don't understand why the FBI think I got something to do with stuff. Like, I'm just here on vacation. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. And now it's freaking dark out. Wake! Where the hell are you? Change of plans! You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm gonna kill him! The freaking... I had to get to Mirror Peak. Well, how do we get to Mirror Peak? I can't get out. It was close. Maybe closer than ever before. Where do I get out at? Oh my god. Man, y'all need to do better with that. I knew I needed to come down here, but it felt like the chain just had me stuck. Give me my stuff, man. Took about 50 minutes. And we still gotta meet this stupid joker. Like he should've just showed up like he was supposed to. <laughs> Raggedy head. Who's here? Hello? Hello. Who is here? They giving me all this stuff. God dang, look at this ammo box. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna be fighting for my life. What did I say? What did I say? Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Okay. 
Can I shoot this? Get out of here with that running. Is it another one? Freaking guy, yo! Oh. Ah. Come on! What's up with this? I can't even use my battery because the thing is all on me. Now I gotta worry about flying objects. What is this, Harry Potter? Shoot! Trying to make sure I got enough, enough uh, stuff. Come on. Use my, my dash. All right, come on, man. Where's the uh? Yeah, I need some more batteries. I mean, ammo. That thing scared me. I was trying to see if I can like bump some barrels, man. We got us some flashbangs. Cause I'm definitely out of uh stuff. Hold on, I had got a manuscript. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant, and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man. And without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. That explains it. Get out of here. Tried to scare me, but I saw you. I freaking. I freaking saw you. Was that a bull? Like a bull. Come on, don't come on now, Alan. Don't be on here like like Zelda. Go. Oh, I don't I don't go this way. Why you came in here? Why did I came in here? Is this where I needed to go? Shh. <laughs> 
dude. I just set myself up. There better be some items in here for me to grab. Because otherwise, that was a stupid move. And it's not. Oh, here's the door. Okay. What the hell? Everything is moving! Oh my freaking god, the tornado. He's mentioned the tornado. All right, all right. Guys, I don't know what's gonna happen. I think I'm prepared. I only have one flashbang left. Oh gosh. The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. How? Okay. Wait. I can drive this? Can I back up? Turn off the power? Boy, I'm over here trying to run. I'm over here running into... Into stuff. Let's run these over. Can we run them over? Get the lights on them. Yeah! Come on! We running them over. Yeah! Shot coming in handy. Handy dandy. Oh, my car is smoking. That's all right. We got majority of it. Get out here. Yes. Didn't have to waste nothing. All right, Alan. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. All right. So we at this part. So. We'll probably have one more video after this. Oh man. Since the lights off, they're gonna be coming. And I wasted my truck. Stop it. Come on! Like, stupid. And where am I going? Dang it, I wasted on their ass. Yo, homie. Yeah, I crushed him. Come on! Shoot! Hurry up! No, because he was about to freaking charge at me. Alright. Matt, again? Where is the thing at? Hurry up! 
So once we go over here on this side, then we'll uh we'll make sure to end the video right there. Cause golly, we made it to another checkpoint. Okay, guys, we got nope. Leave the door closed. We got one more video to go. Now that we have oh, I have pick up a manuscript. So let's look at that before I uh, end the video. Didn't I pick up a manuscript? No, I guess not. I thought I did. Okay, we read it. We read it. We read it. Okay, okay. So this one I'm going to do, guys. We will stop this video right here because this part is crazy and it's insane. We got hopefully one more video to go. Uh, we will pick this back up on that. But make sure you share it to all your social platforms, X, Discord, uh, Reddit, Instagram, TikTok, <laughs> wherever you uh, engage into your with your community and stuff. I really appreciate that. And make sure you subscribe if you are new to the channel. And as always, I love y'all. And I'll catch y'all later.